but not leastly, we're always keeping the Bible in our peripheral. And I'll tell you guys a little bit where we're at in the Bible. We are still working on the New Testament, and we're uh, in the middle of Corinthians, actually. We blew through uh, Acts, we blew through Romans, and we blew through John and all the, you know, sort of the Gospels. And that's where the New Testament starts. And I think as far as, you know, there's sort of a difference in, in the biblical scholarship of the New Testament versus the Old Testament, right? The Old Testament's much older, uh, but as far as the mo more modern Christian worldview, Orthodox worldview, um, it's good to have the Gospels and the New Testament under your belt. Um, and as soon as we're done with Romans, or as soon as we're done with Corinthians, there's a second part of Corinthians, apparently, and then we move on to uh, Galatians, and then the Philippians, and then so on and so forth. And then once we're done with the New Testament, we are going to rewind and start all the way back to the book of Genesis. Kind of where we started a few months ago when we were studying John Steinbeck's East of Eden. But we're going to start with the book of Genesis, reread that entirely, and then we'll just blow through the Old Testament as quickly as we possibly can. Now, I don't think you should just blow through the Bible but you want to try to make it a priority. You want to have the biblical knowledge under your belt. You want to be able to draw parallels from the Bible into your favorite authors, your favorite writers, as well as your favorite philosophers. And I hope this video does inspire you guys. That's a beautiful stack of books. And we're, we're you know, um, in over our head. Uh, but we got the rest of the summer and all of next year to kind of devour these books. And after we're done with, well, we're, we're actually kind of already knee deep into the, the female authors. Now, I'm not going to read female authors exclusively. We're still going to be reading, you know, the classic male authors. I've got a lot of different stuff I want to read. We're reading Dave McGowan. We're reading Lao Tzu. We're reading Marcel Proust as well as Thomas Wolf. But as time goes on, we are going to have to really start picking apart this bookshelf and just kind of really trying to get through it. But it's not going to be a rush process. I'm going to be making videos for quite some time. So I hope you guys will enjoy this. And the, probably the next video is definitely going to be Ethan Frome. Uh, analysis. We'll talk a little bit about that. There's not really so much esoteric stuff in Ethan, Ethan, Ethan Frome, but I think there's definitely enough to sink your teeth into, and we can sort of talk about postmodernism, feminism, and sort of the, you know, the, the harsh Marxist revolution that we're kind of living under currently. So I hope you guys will look forward to these reviews, as well as the process of these readings. We're going to be doing some different uh, projects based on my reading responses and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Andrew Marlowe Artist Official or send me an email at Andrew Marlowe 22 at gmail.com and we will see you guys very soon.